and, and sure, and all the, all the revenue that comes in from these unrealized gains taxes and the other pa taxes in the, tax, in the Harris plan are going to go to what, creating what she calls more opportunity. It's to make sure. I don't know about you, but I think I heard the word taxes about 20,000 different times. Uh, that was one of the economic advisors for a potential future president, Kamala Harris, talking about unrealized capital gains taxes and other taxes. And so in today's video, I want to talk about something very important. We often talk about how much money we're going to make in crypto and our portfolio is going up three, four, five hundred percent. But we rarely talk about how to make sure to keep a majority of that money, especially as we are getting closer to retirement, which is why in today's video, I want to talk to you about our favorite crypto IRA platform, which is iTrust Capital. I'm going to talk about what the platform is, some exciting news that you're going to want to hear, whether you have an account or haven't gotten one yet. Also, the promotion they're running, and we're going to talk about exactly how you can set up the account and what you can do once that account is set up. First, let's talk about why is it so important to have retirement savings, right? The importance of retirement savings. Take a look at this. This is the U.S. debt clock in real time. And as you can see here, uh, apparently the government never sleeps. And so $35 trillion and increasing, that is how much debt the U.S. government is in. So you can ask yourself, well, what is one way of getting out of the debt? The easiest way is to just go ahead and raise taxes, whether it's on your citizens, whether it's on capital gains, or it could be all of the above to kind of hamper this down. Or you can say, hey, look, maybe the government will stop, stop, stop spending money, but chances are you and I both believe that that's probably not going to happen. And so when you think about whether you're 25 years old, 35 years old, whether you're 50 and only 12 or 15 years away from retirement, this is something we're all going to have to deal with. So we have to start thinking, how are we going to protect our gains now and our gains in the future, especially as we get closer to retirement? The last thing you want to do is retire for three years and then have to get up, get up out of bed, get off the beach, wherever you're sipping your margarita and go find a job. Uh, working at a local grocery store because you have to, not because you want to. We take a look at how much money will the average American need to retire. That number now is $1.7 million. So do you watching have $1.7 million in a retirement account somewhere? Chances are probably not. I know I don't. And that number is only going to increase in the future. So we have to think about two things. How much of the gains we're going to make are we going to keep? Also, how do we make sure that we're outpacing the markets, but also outpacing government spending and inflation? And there is one way of doing that, and I'm going to go over that with you today. Now, a lot of people historically, my parents, maybe your parents, they depended on something called Social Security, right? According to uh, BGPF.com, Social Security's combined trust funds are projected to be depleted by 2000 and 35, just 13 years from now, in 1960, there were 5.1 workers per beneficiary. That ratio has dropped to 2.8, as you can see here, the downtrend. Also, you take a look at income and the cost of Social Security, as the cost is currently outpacing the income. This is going all the way back to around 2022, when these lines uh, decided to, to, to uh, submerge. And then you also have this. How quickly are baby boomers retiring, drawing on that Social Security benefit? So what am I trying to tell you? Don't count on Social Security. You take a look at average retirement savings by age group. I'm 35. $67,400 is what the average person in my age range has. But it gets scarier as you go up the chart. People in their 50s have $110,000. So you're 15 away, 15 years away from retiring, and you got less than a tenth of what you need to retire. How are you going to make up those gains in the next 15 years? You're not going to get it by just sticking it into the S&P and earning 8%. Sure, that's great gains, but realistically, your nominal is going to be around 5%, right? Because of inflation. We average inflation around 3%. People in their 60s, just five years away from retirement, have 100 and $12,000. Now, what is one industry you've come to know that has given us massive gains over the long term? Bitcoin. Look at Bitcoin. 120% compounded, compounded annual growth rate. Take a look at Ethereum. You bought it just four years ago, six years ago, $2, $10. 
and you sold that $4,000. These are the gains you can make. And this is precisely what we're going to need to do to make sure we have enough money in retirement. Now, we combine crypto with being able to shelter our money from these stupid taxes we're probably going to have to pay in the future, which is why we recommend you opening up an iTrust Capital account. There's a bunch of crypto IRA accounts out there. So why do we decide to promote iTrust? Why do we decide to put all of our eggs in the iTrust basket? Let me give you a couple stats. The company was founded in 2018. The platform went live in 2019. So that's essentially, they launched in a bear market, survived that. Then survived the most brutal bear market, which took the second largest exchange globally down. They started off with around $1.1 million of funding from friends and family. Uh, they did hold private funding rounds as well, but they started uh, essentially a grassroots movement with help from the community. They have the lowest trading fees in the entire crypto IRA industry at 1%. They have three different account types. You can set up a traditional IRA. You can set up a Roth IRA. Or if you're self-employed like we are, you can set up what's called a SEP IRA. Uh, and they also won the award for the best crypto investment platform in 2022 by the FinTech Awards. Now, what I love about iTrust is one, the amount of tokens that are available. As you can see here, the cryptocurrencies, of course, you have your big ones, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can buy it. You can put it into your retirement account and simply forget about it, enjoy the gains, and then pull it out tax-free, depending on if you do a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. But what I love as well, we talk about this on our live show all the time, is having the ability to have access to precious metal, right? Gold and silver, for 5,000 years, gold and silver has been an excellent hedge against inflation. Well, with iTrust, you can have exposure to both gold and silver and create your own 60-40 portfolio or 70-30 portfolio and maximize your upside gain and minimize your downside risk. Also, big piece of news for iTrust, and they have updated their partner for their custodian. They have moved on from Fortress Trust and they have put their money, well, your money, into a, in my opinion, a more reputable company, which is Equus Financial. So this is from the iTrust X handle. We have received some client outreach over the weekend related to a formal email notice sent from Fortress Trust communicating the resignation as qualified custodian and the migration of iTrust clients to its newly appointed qualified custodian, Fortis Bank. Um, and then uh, going on here, just want to read this one as well. I trust clients do not have to take any action at this time. Their migration will happen automatically. Your access to the platform remain the same. Your positions will not be liquidated. All assets will be transferred in around 30 days. Now, once the migration is completed, you'll gain access to several new digital asset offerings. So this list here that I showed you on cryptos, right? Going all the way down to sushi swab, urine finance, compound chilies, this list according to what iTrust says, is going to expand. What are they going to expand to? Are they going to have uh, certain coins with a lot of big communities? Who knows? But at the end of the day, the more options, the more better for you, the more chance to make money, greater security. Fortis and iTrust Custodial Services use some of the most respected names in crypto. Uh, closer migration, they'll make an official announcement. Uh, streamlined account processing and funding. Reduced reliance on third parties. Improved platform capabilities. Increased transparency and improved reporting. Now, it's super easy to set up an account. And if you use the link in the description of our video, you'll receive a free $100 once you find your account. So you can open an account, click the link, you click the open an account. It's pretty simple. It'll take like three to five minutes. Set up the account, choose whether you want a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, or if you're self-employed, a SEP IRA. I have, me personally, a Roth IRA. What that allows me to do is put in dollars that have already been taxed through my paycheck, but the money that I earn in my IRA account, I'm not gonna have to worry about the unrealized gains tax. And I'm also not gonna have to worry about paying taxes when I enjoy that money in my retirement. And again, we talked about this in the beginning of the video, chances are taxes are probably going up as the debt continues to skyrocket and social security dwindles. Or if you don't have that thousand dollars to fund your account, and let's say you have a retirement account from work, or if you left a job, chances are you probably have an IRA account or a 401k account that you know nothing about. You can take that money and roll it over tax-free into iTrust Capital and start investing in the cryptocurrencies and in the precious metals. It's super simple. I will also pin this website in the description of this video. It has amazing tutorial videos on how to set up account, the three ways to fund the account, how to file out, uh, fill out 
that transfer form, if you're looking to transfer that 401k or IRA from another company like Charles Schwab, Morgan Stanley, how to self-trade, conditional transactions, and everything else that you potentially might need to open and use your account. At the end of the day, if you're going to hand over the keys to your crypto, there's always positives and negatives, right? The absolute best way would be to custody your own crypto, have a seed phrase. But the downside is, of course, they start doing unrealized capital gains tax. And once you sell, depending on where you rank, you're going to have to pay 30, 35, 40% of your gains back to the government. So that's the downside risk. When you go, when you decide to go with a custodian, a platform where you where you trust them with your crypto, with your retirement account, obviously you want to know they've been around for a while. Have they gone through bear markets, which I trust has? Have they been around? Yes. Are they founded on principles? Yes. Do they have quality custodian? Yes. Do they have great offerings? Yes. And do they have great customer service? All those answers are yes. And so if you are going to open up an IRA account, we highly recommend you go with the best in the business, and that is iTrust Capital. Uh, all the links are going to be in the description and pinned in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.